Bono Young is 76, and time has not been kind to him. Escape into the glamorous past and explore what some of our favorite Hollywood stars have been doing in recent years. Let's take a look at how they've been living their lives since the golden age of Tinseltown. Jacqueline Smith, 77 years old. The ageless beauty Jacqueline Smith is an American actress and businesswoman who achieved her Hollywood fame from her iconic role on Charlie's Angels as Kelly Garrett. Not only has she starred in many films throughout the years, but also launched a successful namesake clothing line and signature perfume back in the 80s. The now 77-year-old attributes her forever young appearance to a wholesome diet regimen paired with daily fitness regimens. Whatever she's doing must be working. Lex Luger, 64 years old. Lex, the total package Luger, is a professional wrestler who was most popular during the 80s and 90s. He competed in the World Wrestling Federation and World Championship Wrestling in those days. He actually played professional football as well. Unfortunately, the athlete experienced a spinal stroke that led him to retire from playing any sports. However, he's still active in the field as a member of the wellness policy team. Richard Chamberlain, 88 years old. Richard Chamberlain made headlines when he won the main role in NBC's Dr. Kildare, which opened up many opportunities for him, including acting roles on The Thornbirds, King Solomon's Mines, and most renownedly for the movie adaptation of Robert Ludlum's classic novel, The Born Identity. He was a prominent openly gay actor who was even romantically involved with one of his co-stars while filming Alan Quatermain and The Lost City in Gold. In 2003, Richard wrote an autobiographical book called Shattered Love to share more details about his life journey as an actor before retiring from show business shortly after its publication. Richard Keith, 72 years old. Richard Keith began his acting career at a remarkable age, just three years old. He not only played the drums, but also had the significant role of Little Ricky on I Love Lucy, and later as Johnny Paul Jason on The Andy Griffith Show. This is an impressive feat that few can lay claim to, achieving with such success so early in life. Tony Bennett, 96 years old. It's incredible to turn 96 and still be able to perform with such finesse. Tony Bennett is extremely gifted, being a former student of the School of Industrial Arts in New York. His iconic song, I Left My Heart in San Francisco, has become an absolute classic. Even today, he continues to astound audiences across the globe with his remarkable talent and showmanship. Eva Marie Saint, 98 years old. Eva Marie Saint has been a mainstay in Hollywood for over seven decades, making her mark since the 1940s. Her incredible performance alongside Marlon Brando in On the Waterfront was particularly noteworthy and earned her an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress in 1955. Even today, she's still active as an actress with credits all the way up to 2014. Anne Blythe, 94 years old. Having won the hearts of many with her stunning performances in both film and theater, Anne Blythe is undoubtedly renowned for playing Vita Pierce Forrester in Mildred Pierce. Now retired, she spends most of her days at home. But did you know that this remarkable actress was even granted a star on Hollywood's Walk of Fame? Ali McGraw, 83 years old. Ali McGraw had an outstanding breakthrough role in Love Story opposite Ryan O'Neill, and to this day she still looks stunning. In fact, people featured her in their article of the 50 most beautiful people for a reason. Ali undeniably deserves all the recognition. Max Baer Jr., 85 years old. For well over four decades, Max Baer Jr. has held a storied career in television, from acting to directing and producing films. Countless productions have earned him acclaim, yet none more than his portrayal of Jethro Bodine on the Beverly Hillbilly series. What's more is that he remains the only living cast member today, an expression of his unwavering dedication. Barbara Eden, 91 years old. Barbara Eden is widely known for her iconic role in I Dream of Jeannie. Although now retired, you can still catch reruns that feature her talent and charm. If you'd like to learn more about Barbara's life journey, be sure to check out her memoir, released in 2011. Nancy Sinatra, 82 years old. It seems destined for Nancy Sinatra, the daughter of Frank Sinatra, to follow in her father's illustrious footsteps. Since starting recording music back in the 1960s, Nancy's been a force to be reckoned with, her latest album being released as recently as 2013. 
Recently, however, she hasn't made much noise on stage, leading many people to question if she's officially retired from singing and performing. Sylvester Stallone, 76 years old. It's almost unfathomable to think that Sylvester Stallone is now 76, but we're astonished and delighted to report that his allure still remains. Thankfully, there have been just as many death hoaxes circulating recently in the past, none of which are true, so we can continue looking forward to more of Sly's work. It looks like he'll be enticing us for some time yet. Julie Andrews, 87 years old. Even at the ripe age of 87, this renowned actress remains as gorgeous and radiant as ever. You might remember her from iconic films such as Mary Poppins and The Sound of Music. Don't for a second think that she's retired either. She continues to act today, recently playing Marlena Gru in Despicable Me 3. Truly an inspiring reminder of ageless beauty. Bolo Young, 76 Bolo Young's remarkable journey to the spotlight began with his commitment and dedication to bodybuilding. His impressive physique eventually caught the attention of cinematic powerhouses, opening up new opportunities for him as an action star. In fact, one of his first big breaks came in the late 60s when he was discovered via media coverage at a leading bodybuilding event hosted by Shaw Brothers. With consistent hard work and perseverance, Bolo Young has since become a global icon with martial arts films today. The brothers saw potential in Yang Ji, and they had dreams of him playing a variety of combat-related roles in their films. He ended up appearing in 18 altogether, from 1970 to 1983. After he got rejected by an even bigger martial artist and film actor, his big opportunity finally came knocking at his door.